today on Be Something Wonderful. When you are exhausted with techniques and processes, do this. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. Really, some really good coaching sessions yesterday, and, and, I, and almost all of them had to do with a specific person or an SP or an old flame or something like that. In one of the sessions, she said, Tom, I'm just exhausted with processes and techniques. I've been in my wish fulfilled. I, I felt like I've been doing everything right, but really nothing has happened. And it's been a few years now, and I've studied all the, I've studied Neville Goddard, Dr. Joe Dispenza, all of the spiritual teachers, but still nothing. So guys, I want to talk about this today and more. So I, I did a video several months ago um, that, that related to this. And I just want to first start with this, that being connected to your wish fulfilled, being, con being uh, connected to source energy or being connected to that power you're all, is not the same thing as being aligned, embodying it. Right? You're always connected to source energy. You're always connected to fulfillment. Right? You are fulfillment, but you're not always aligned with it. Right? So when you get stuck in processes trying to make something happen or trying to fix uh, an unwanted reality or trying to fix yourself, trying to fix and improve yourself, which we, I got into a discussion yesterday with one of the clients, that, that all keeps you stuck in the processes. Or like I said in a few videos ago, it gets you stuck in the swing circle. Like if you're learning golf, you're working on the swing, you're not working on the end, right? You're not in the end. So I want to really unpack this like we never have before. So it's not about fixing reality or yourself. I think one of you that it, it, things accelerated as you didn't hear from your SP, you started texting, it started getting, you started moving to to lifelines and realities that got worse and worse, right? Because you're trying to fix an unwanted reality. You're trying to, you think you have to fix yourself. I just want to say to you first, reality's not broken and neither are you. There's nothing to fix. It's about alignment, right? You're already connected. You already are source, right? It's about aligning with it. And, and we're going to talk about how to do that. It, it, it's about perceiving, receiving, and creating a different experience of infinity in each and every moment. Do you hear this? That's what reality creation really is. It's about perceiving, receiving, and creating a different experience of infinity in every moment. So when you're trying to fix a previous experience or, or yourself, who is reality, remember you are all that. It all comes out from you. It all comes from your consciousness. Now you're getting tangled up and creating and recreating an unwanted reality. And it just gets more unwanted and more unwanted. Do you hear this, right? You are experienced reality, you're experiencing reality as both the creator and the created, right? Conceiver in its conception. You can't change reality from the limited old identity or concept of yourself that created it. Do you hear that? You can't change from the, you, you created that reality from a limited old identity. You're still in that identity trying to fix it, trying to fix yourself or trying to fix your reality, trying to change it. You can't get there from there, right? So let's hit this a little bit more. So I, um, I talked to you guys, at, at, and here's an example. I talked to you guys, I think a few months ago, that I used to um, uh, be a ballroom dancer. I took many lessons <laughs> for many years. And, uh, you know, uh, cha-cha, salsa, um, foxtrot, waltz, all of them, right? The soft dances, the Latin dances. And, and I want to say that it's a great analogy for reality creation because you're connected with your dance partner. Right, and it depends on who's leading, but we'll talk about that in a second. But there's, there's connections, right? The hands, the hip, the legs in there, you've got your hand on, the, on, the, on her back, right? You're very connected to your dance partner, but it doesn't mean you're aligned, right? Here's why. I'm, I'm, so I'm always connected. When I was first learning ballroom dancing, my, my, my teacher would stop 
and say, say, Tom, <laughs> where are you going? Right? What's going on here? And um, haven't you forgotten something? And what did I forget? I forgot to take her with me. Right? I'm supposed to be leading. Right? And but I'm I'm caught in the processes. I'm caught in the swing swing circle. Do you see this? I got trapped in thinking about what my next step is versus leading her. Do you get this? And this is the same thing that I wasn't aligned with her. I was connected, but I was focused on my own, what, what I'm doing and not on us as one moving together, aligned. That's what I want to start with today. So this is what you said. I did all the processes. I practiced the techniques. I feel connected to my wish fulfilled. You're connected, but I'm still not getting results. You are always connected to source energy of fulfillment. Being connected, though, is not the same thing as being aligned. You want to lead with intention, aligned with your higher self. That's what it means to lead, right? That's what intention means. You're leading not with the intent to get something out there or fix yourself or reality, right? As I told you, my, my, my dance teacher would always stop. Aren't you forgetting something? What was I forgetting? I was focused on getting my dance steps right. I had the intent to fix it fix myself, fix out there versus getting aligned within and becoming one with her and moving together as one, as, 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 as one fluid dance move. Do you get this, guys? This is what we're talking about. Aligned with the inner experience versus looking outside, in, in from the processes, right? Outside in from the processes in the broken reality. That's the same thing. Right? You're looking from a broken reality or a reality that you don't want, trying to fix it, trying to fix yourself. You're trapped from the outs, looking from the outside in and trying to fix it, right? Instead, but you want to create the inner experience by embodying your wish fulfilled. That's what I wanted to talk about today. So, so this is, this is what, so, so the question is, aren't you forgetting something? That's my question for you. You're forgetting to bring source with you. You're forgetting to bring your higher self with you. Do you see that? That's why it got all tangled up. You got all tangled up in the outside world and what's happening out there. And it got worse and worse. It's all about source. It's all about your higher self. That's what my, my dance teacher would say to me, right? She goes, Tom, it's all about your dance partner when you're leading. And she goes, well, it's all about the girl, right? Because she happened to be a girl in this case, right? She goes, it's all about the girl. It's all about who you're leading, right? It's all about that. All eyes are on that. They're not on you. And you put it on yourself and you put it on your 3D world, world right? When you're leading, it's all about that person you're, you're leading, right? That person you're leading does all of the, all of the things that are, are cool, does all of the magic. But you look as one unit right? It's all about source. It's all about your higher self. You're making it all about you, all about a broken reality, right? All about your 3D you, right? It's about leading that creative energy with intention. You can't lead if you're, folk, if you're trapped in the process. You can't lead if you're looking at if your steps are right, right? You're, you're connected, but you're looking, at, you're looking down at your steps and you're forgetting to take your dance partner with you, your higher self, source energy. It's about taking your higher self with you instead of getting lost in the processes and techniques and immersing your attention in the outer world and unwanted realities and conditions. Do you see that? That's what's happening, right? Take your higher self, align with your higher self instead of getting lost in the techniques and processes. You can do the, obviously the processes are powerful. The techniques are powerful but not when you get lost in them and it becomes all about the processes, right? Immersion, you, you start getting, making, putting your attention on the outside world. Is it there yet? Am I doing it right? Right? And, uh, and, it, be, and it becomes all about the unwanted realities and conditions as opposed to source energy in that higher self and you aligned with your dance partner, source, right? It, like a dance partner, you're always connected but not always aligned unless you're leading with intention, right? That intentional energy, right? Leading. And remember, sometimes you're leading, sometimes your higher self is leading. <laughs> but you're one anyway, so it doesn't matter, right? You're leading each other. So become one with, embody your wish fulfilled and move as one with source. As long as you are needing, hear this, 
wanting and lacking something from the outside world to feel fulfilled, you are dancing with yourself. Wow. You're just dancing with yourself, right? As long as you need something, want something, or lacking something from the outside world, you're on your own. You are connected to source. You're never not connected, but you're not aligned, right? And you're getting trapped in that swing circle in golf or getting trapped or immersed in those processes, right? As you move without your partner, your higher self or source energy, and then try to lead by forcing 3D reality to be or, or to, to do or be what you want it to do or be. And then you start forcing it, right? Leading with intention is leading with power, real power, the power within, right? Leading without, without, uh, without intention, you're, you're trying to force it, right? You're not aligned, right? You're focused on your steps, focused on what you're doing right or wrong. And now you're trying to force your dance partner to go with you as opposed to leading her. She will go or he will go wherever you want him or her to go when you're leading with intention. It's, it's subtle. It's powerful. It's, connect, it's a connection as one. You move together. As you nudge in a direction, you're moving. That dance partner knows where to go because you're, you're, you are not only connected, you're aligned as one. Wow. The, the magic happens when you're dancing in unison as one. It's all about your inner world. It's all about source. It's all about who you're leading. It's all about that person. All eyes are on that. Wow. That's powerful. So your desire your int or intention for more love, like an SP that I had many cases yesterday, more money like I had last week with somebody, more abundance, better health. But two weeks ago, I had one of you that wanted to improve your health or vitality, more opportunities. One of you was kind of struggling with choices, right? Access to, that means more opportunities, access to infinity realities. All of this, right? Your desire is all yours when you make being more, feeling more, aligning more with source and your higher self, your primary intention. When you lead with your higher self, when you lead with source, and not looking to the outside world, not looking at all your steps and whether you're doing things right. When you lead there, when you make being more, feeling more, aligning more with the whole you, you are, now you're leading with that intention, right? You're taking your higher self with you. And then all these things, all these things, all, your love, money, better health, opportunities, fit, improvements in your physical features, some of you are asking, all of that will be added on to you when you lead with intention, when you take your higher self with you. That's when you are exhausted with processes and techniques. That's what to do. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit our, hit our notification button, like and share our videos, like them like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Share them like crazy. Get the word out. You can follow us on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful. We have a Facebook group called the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors. You can join that. You can follow us on Twitter and, Insta Twitter and Instagram at, at Tom Karen. Or you can visit our website anytime at TomKaren.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com. With great love, with great light, with infinite gratitude. See you soon.